All right, and, and it, it's a tragedy to hear this story, to hear this mother, her heart is broken. You know, all, all prayers go to this, this woman who lost her son. But for Mike Bloomberg to exploit her pain and to inflate numbers in order to push his own gun control agenda, I find that particularly despicable given the emotion of her story. And Max, his numbers just are, are not correct. They're a lie. Yeah, they're not correct. Apparently, he's pulling the numbers from Every Town for Gun Safety, which is an organization that he bankrolls. Um, and what they put out is they put out this 2,900 um, death number. But when you actually dive into their statistics, you realize that they include 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds when they talk about children. They they talk about children and adolescents, so they're inflating those numbers. Um, I like to say whenever you see a gun control advocate put out a statistic – immediately try and look into that statistic because chances are it's being inflated for their own purposes. Now, this statistic includes um, suicides, which however heartbreaking and tragic they are, I don't really think count as gun violence. They count, they include accidental shootings, which isn't really violence. They include justifiable homicide, which is basically when teenagers are killed in the commission of a crime and the gun owner, uh, whether it be a civilian or police officer who shot them, was in the right to do it. They had the legal right to use deadly force. So when you start discounting all of these things that they've thrown in there to inflate the number, you arrive at a number that's below a thousand. I mean, I've even seen it get below 900 once you take all these things out, which again is heartbreaking in itself, but it's a far cry from the 2,900 that this ad is, is purporting. Right. And, and I think, like I said, the reason that it's so egregious is because Mike Bloomberg is trying to implement, he's trying to impose on the American people, just like he did when he was mayor of New York City, he's trying to impose a pretty radical gun control agenda that violates our Second Amendment rights. And he's using this number to spark fear in the hearts of voters so that they kowtow to his proposals. And when his premise is a lie like this, when he's when what he's using to spark that fear is not true, it's important that we um, that we call him out.